we recognize that a lot of things that we develop for our service members actually have use um, outside of strictly defense department uh, uh, needs. The prosthetics program, for example, we hope that it's going to help people not just in America, but all over the world. This is a program that's called Haptics. We want this robotic hand to move and feel like the flesh and bone that we have as normal hands. This here is an exosuit. So the way that it works basically is there is a textile component that interfaces to the body and allows us to apply forces to the person in parallel with their muscles and tendons. The backpack is what a soldier would use for carrying heavy loads. And the goal of this program is to basically unburden a soldier so they carry up to 110 pounds. So how can we make it easier for them so they don't get injured and they don't get fatigued? We're developing prosthetics for restoring movement and sensation, uh, restoring memory. We're already working with human subjects with next generation technologies that can record from the neurons in their brain that are involved in memory formation and recall. We can interpret that information from those neurons and we can deliver targeted stimulation to their brain in order to help them form and recall memories. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.